Hi there, YouTube. I'm coming to you because we finally have the information regarding what's going to happen to Cinderella in Nikkei. So essentially, for those who don't know, or if you've potentially missed the information, there were a lot of bugs when it comes to Cinderella. And essentially, um, there were two parts, or like, there were so many bugs. But one of them made it so she was dealing more damage than expected. Another one that I know of was making it so a lot of her attacks were actually just missing the enemies, right? Like some of the AoE explosion just did not register properly. So they are doing some fixes and I know a lot of people have been doom posting about Cinderella, uh, how she's gonna be bad and all of that. So let's see what it is, let's see the changes. And so we can kind of decide for herself if she is indeed going to get nerfed from those bug fixes. So first of all, the update is going to be on November 8th. It's going to last for about five hours. So it is a relatively long maintenance. Uh, November 7th, sorry. I don't know why I said 8th. Uh, so it's November 7th for five hours. The game will be unavailable during the maintenance. Now, we have major updates here. We will optimize... Sindula's issues in battle and adjust her skill balance. One, we'll fix an issue where a basic attack hits other targets or parts near the aim site under certain circumstances. So I think this is an issue when enemies are too close, for example, and even though you're aiming for the core, it will hit nearby the core because of the way the bullet actually arcs. Um, I think this is what it means. It could be something else. I don't know. Uh, two, we'll fix an issue where an intended increase in skill damage occurs when Cinderella's burst skill Glass Sleeper's full contact is used after full charge. Three, we will adjust Cinderella's burst skill Glass Sleeper's full contact balance due to fix for issue number two. So, they are fixing the unintended increased damage, but they are increasing the damage of the skill itself. So here we can see at level 1, it will go from dealing 426.85% final attack damage to 853.7% of final attack as damage. So this is basically an increase of, it's a times 2, right? At level 10, we are going from 682.96% to... 1,365.92% of final attack as damage. So this is literally a times two. So people were worried that because the bug fix is going to be fixed, the, 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 the bug is going to be fixed and they're going to lower her damage. No, they are going to fix the bug, but as quote-unquote compensation, they are going to increase the damage that the skill actually does. So what this tells me is that maybe they had the right value in terms of how much damage she was doing, but they had the proper value based on how the ability was essentially bugged. So maybe when the, the thing went live, people realized that there was a bug here and the, maybe the math didn't add up. And so they probably found the source of the issue, fixed it, and then increased the damage to have it make sense with what they had intended. This is what it tells me. Maybe not. Maybe she was not intended to be dealing that much damage. And they're like, okay, the bug made, made her very strong. We don't want to take that away from people that already, like, maybe put a lot of money to get her. So let's increase the damage. I, I, I think either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the result is what matters. And hopefully she won't be as scuffed in terms of, like, targeting and her AoE damage not proccing properly and people are going to be happy with the amount of damage she's going to be dealing which should be a lot in here. So I don't know if this is going to be exactly equivalent to the damage she was doing because she was so bugged it was kind of difficult to know what was going on here but this on paper to me as someone who didn't know the exact math and values this looks good. Now moving on from that because there are more issues being fixed. We'll fix an issue where it is not possible to jump in certain areas in in the mirror. This is the mini game of Old Tale. It, this is the roguelike, uh, roguelite. Sorry, no, this is the Metroidvania. Sorry, not roguelite. Uh, we will fix an issue where the acquisition method of certain items is incorrect in the mini game. Obtain after completing the main mission, eliminate the giant raptor hexagon. Obtain from past to death after completing the main mission, eliminate the giant raptor hexagon. Okay, 
You will fix an issue where the sound effect did not play into a specific scene in campaign chapter 29, episode 2nd generation Grimm's Model B. Fix an issue where the red dot on the mission icon does not appear when there are no daily missions reward available in the minigame in the mirror. Um, fix an issue where the shortcut, shortcut keys fail to function in minigames under certain PC environments. Or fix an issue where players cannot perform any action under certain circumstances when interacting in the event field of all tales. There's a lot of bug fix. Uh, you can pause here if you want to read through all of that. Um, and yeah, this looks uh, this looks pretty good overall. So I'm looking forward to see how much this is going to affect her damage. I'm going to be testing her and see how it feels. Because I don't know if the bug essentially made her burst deal twice as much damage as intended. Um, I have no idea, so do let me know if you know in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe. I, I hope this was informative and useful to you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Mwah, mwah.